Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing super well. Hope you survived Monday without too many <laughs> bruises. <laughs> that's my low <laughs> that's my that that's that's my standard. That's my low standard for Monday. Just get out without too many bruises and move on to Tuesday. It is Tuesday, November 1st, 2016, first day of November. Ah, we're getting close. I, I smell winter in the air already, even though it's kind of uh, decent weather here on the east coast of the United States. Hope you're doing well, though. Let's start off November with a bang. Okay, maybe not a bang, but we're going to start off with this pocket dump deconstruction that you're looking at right there. You see it? That's what I'm filling my pockets with before I run off to work late. True. I took a bunch of pictures. I'm going to post them on Instagram later on this afternoon around noon, one, two-ish on my Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken, just like this YouTube channel at Keith, Kevin King, come join the fun on Instagram. I do like it. Start with my first cup of coffee, couple of uh, knives and a cigar, and we go throughout the day, and we end it right before going to sleep, I post. So come join us. If you're not on Instagram and you love knives or you love cigars or you love knives, get on Instagram, download it, okay? Put it on whatever phone you have because there's all, all the knife makers, all the knife fans, all the people you watch on YouTube. Everybody's on there. There's a lot of knives offered of all different kind of prices from beginner all the way up to the ones that make you go, wow. So check out Instagram, even if you don't follow my feed, but eh, follow my feed too. I'm going to post it, turn my iPhone 6S Plus after taking those pictures just a few moments ago to video. Now it's time for our pocket dump deconstruction. You know why? Because we do that every single day. Over, I don't know, I haven't checked my channel recently. Close to 170, I know that. Pocket dump deconstructions already. We do this every single day. This is the, the thing you can count on every single day. So let's do this. Uh, I'm wearing my uh, Rolex. I think usually I, I cycle through my rotation of watches, but eh, I've been running at work. So uh, I put on my nice, trusty Rolex Precision. The cigar, you know, the truth of the matter is there aren't a whole lot of Cuban Maduro cigars. Maduro is these dark leaf cigars that have that great chocolatey texture. Uh, this is a Cohiba Maduro number no. five. Look at that. I have got to figure out my lights. <laughs> yeah, after a half a year of doing this every single day, uh, at some point I'm going to have to figure out the new thing. Uh, but this is, oh, I can't wait for this nice chocolatey smoke. And because it's a nice chocolatey smoke, and because of how I was feeling this morning, I've decided to put rum. <laughs> Usually I don't carry rum in my flask, but I decided today. Just in case I don't make it home right after work, stop off somewhere. I have my dark rum, by the way. Nice dark rum and a nice chocolatey Cohiba Maduro to make me happy wherever I am. <laughs> um, my Shone pen, Shone design pen, S-C-H-O-N design, D-S-G-N, if you want them online, pen. That is a uh, brass pen made in the USA, Massachusetts. There's one of my thin uh, Coach wallets, Where's the shade? Give you shade. My coin, as my lucky coin today, is the 2000 Canadian Maple Leaf. Hello to all my Canadian neighbors. Uh, this is a nice coin. You probably can't make out the detail. I guess if you use that new Instagram uh, uh, 
filter because I once I post this on Instagram, you can zoom in, pinch and stuff to zoom in. Uh, this has a wonderful, it's 2000, so remember that was the, the changing of the millennium, right? And uh, it has fireworks on the bottom of the maple leaf. Just a real nice thing. Uh, let's see. Let's take our knives off of my coach notepad with the bootleg paper. <laughs> I'm proud of my bootleg paper. Okay, let's talk about the knives. I'll tell you what got me started. Everything gets me started about the carry. And it really is that first knife that gets me thinking. Yesterday, I saw this wonderful comment on the channel from someone who said, keep up the good work. By the way, thank you. That, that just keeps me going. I know. Uh, and all the thumbs up just keeps me going. He said, keep up the good work. You're the ones that convinced me to get a Sage 2 knife. And so I got up this morning, I opened up my cases, and the first thing I went to was the Sage 2. <laughs> so, I, so thank you for the comment and also for the hint, the start for today's pocket dump deconstruction. I always carry three knives, keychain knife, a medium knife, and a larger knife. Sometimes the medium knife becomes a larger knife and I do a smaller carry. Here's my keychain knife today. Oh, and what a nice one it is. It's the Spydeco Cricut. I'm a huge fan of the Cricut. When we go through this Spydeco collection, you'll see the entire collection of my Cricuts from the first early one all the way to the most recent. This right here is a Sprint Run Cricut. You know, I think I'm losing uh, some of these uh, bulbs. I think a bulb burnt out in my light overhead. I've been running around, you guys. What I need to do is, and then when I get home, I'm so tired, I literally <laughs> change my clothes and find myself knocked out on my bed. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do something about everything. Just chill, clean up the place. Uh, so I apologize if the lighting seems a little bit more off than usual. But this is the cricket. We'll go through all of the crickets uh, this is a sprint run. Sprint run for Spydeco usually is a thousand or less knives. They're limited edition. Once they're gone, they're gone. The only other way you can get them is on the secondary market. Some people, whenever I say that, they go, well, this was 1,200. I, I know. You know, it depends on what Sal and Eric want to do, how many they want to do. But usually... It's around a thousand, and that comes from Spydeco itself. Um, but sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less because they have problems. Since these are new manufacturing uh, issues, they're not their regular run of an Endora or Delica or NATO. Um, sometimes they have some problems, and so <laughs> they shrink that limit, which is good for a collector. This is the Spydeco. Cricket with that reverse S blade, which is wonderful. I love that extra belly though. So you can actually use this for EDC. That belly is great. It also doesn't come to a super thin tip. Uh, a number like the Civilian and a couple of others of the uh, Hawk, <laughs> the Hawk blades, um, the real tactical blades, Spydeco actually put a warning in the box saying not for EDC use because of that tip. It's usually for self-defense use. <laughs> we'll go through my, I have a big collection of the Hawk blades as well. I have a huge collection of them. I, I love them. I really do. But this is the reverse S. Really nice. 1.9 inches VG10 steel. You can tell it's one of the newer crickets because of that. Chris Reeve ventricle frame lock on the back, which is just really nice. Nice lockup, just a thin package, but just so well done. Yeah, by the way, I bought two more Spydecos, new Spydecos coming. I'm hoping to have them by Thursday to show you guys. I'm excited about them. Um, guess what they are down <laughs> in the comments section. Um, 
This is just so nice. What a wonderful package. This, of course, has the Nescision handle. Nescision is glass fiber, smaller than the human hair, really weaved together into a pattern. This pattern you see right here, you'll see either this is the black Nescision. I have a number of knives with blue Nescision. Usually when you see a Nescision knife from Spydeco, first, it's probably a Sprint run, a limited edition. Um, what it is, is really glass fibers, thinner, thinner than the human hair, put together into this pattern. The pattern is Nescision. It's a specific kimono pattern in Japan. So that pattern right there is Nescision. What a nice piece. Feels nice in the hand. Really useful. I love how they put that choil in there on this small knife. Great lockup. Everything is nice on that knife. And there we go. Yeah, man. I will say <laughs> it's a close uh it, it's a close uh flip between this the Sage 2 and the newest Sage 5 from Spydeco. Sage is the series where Spydeco honors the sages in the industry that came up with great locking knives. Uh, this one, for instance, uh, represents the Chris Reeve Intracle frame lock. That's why it's all titanium, just like a lot of the Chris Reeve Sabenzas. So it's all titanium. Every single knife has the same profile, that three inch leaf blade from Spydeco, S30V steel. So all of them. There are six knives in the collection, five different people being celebrated. Yeah, the Sage 3 actually has two different knives. Two, same knife, different handles. Um, for the most part, most people think this is the perfect Spydeco knife. Um, it, it is on most people's top 10 knives. It's probably on my top 10 Spydeco knife as well. It's just perfect. Until they released <laughs> the Sage 5 this year, um, and the Sage 5, they're celebrating themselves, Spydeco and the compression lock. So you have this form um, factor with um, carbon fiber on top of G10, and it feels good in the hand. Um, S35 V steel, but that compression lock. It's like a mini, to me it feels like, <laughs> it's. It's like a, a mini paramilitary, and you know paramilitaries are on everyone's top of their list for Spydeco's. So here you have the titanium, all titanium frame lock, which is excellent. They all have the wire clip as well, which I think is just unbelievable. This is the Sage 2, folks, all titanium. It is a tribute to Chris Reeve, and you guys know I love me some Chris Reeves. Chris Reeves Intercool Lock. That is Sage 2. And then the large knife, I had to go to Chris Reeve, um, especially since we have the Sage 2, right? It's the Chris Reeve Large Sabenza 21 with the Tanto blade, and it's the Makarta inlay. I'll tell you, I've seen the new Makarta. They're calling it Natural Makarta. It's like a brownish Makarta. It looks great. It really does. I keep getting ready. All my knife money is done for now. <laughs> and this Friday, I'll reload. Um, but I, I, I love that Nkosi. I, I actually saw the Nkosi with the new natural uh, McCarter. And you know, I'm, I've got my Nkosi in my, on my brain. This is just wonderful. You'll notice yesterday I carried my first uh uh, Chris Reeve knives. I carried my first Chris Reeve knife, the riddled large Sabenza 21, uh, small Sabenza 21, and the knife that got away was the Umnumzun. All of them, uh, you know, the Umnumzun, the plain Jane. All of them didn't have a lanyard, and I said, you can always tell when they're one of my first knives because they didn't have a lanyard. Because at that time I had like five or six Spydecos. I have a couple of hundred now. And um, they were my first Chris Reeve knives and they couldn't all fit in the one drawer I had for storage. So <laughs> now I have four huge 
Pelican cases. And so I took off the lanyards. Well, this doesn't have a lanyard either. This was my fourth Spydeco, uh, Spydeco, my first Chris, Reeve, my fourth Chris Reeve knife, the Mercado with the Tanto blade. All Tanto blades, if you're going to buy a new Tanto blade, you have got to go through True North knives. True North knives ha handles all of Chris Reeve's Tanto blades. They are just really beautiful. S35 VN steel on this. I really like it. 3.6 inch blade. And then of course, Micarta. I love the Micarta inlay. It just feels so perfect. It just gives you just that little extra. All of the inlays give you extra, but it's something about that Micarta feel that just feels perfect in the hand. Of course, like all of the inlaid Chris Reeve knives, two strips on the show side, one on the lock side. This is the only inlay, the Micarta, where Chris Reeve doesn't polish the titanium. It's just that nice plain Jane titanium with Micarta on it. And I think that's a wonderful design choice. It really is. This is the large Sabenza 21. Tanto blade from True North Knives, and of course, the Micarta inlay. There you have it. That's my carry for today. That's going to get me through Tuesday. Please thumb it up. Go crazy on those thumb ups. Okay? Like. Uh, please like. Share. Let your friends know that we're out here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We reached 1,000. I'm preparing the uh, Spydeco Palooza, Spydeco Palooza. The next time I'm going to name it easier. But this the Spydeco Palooza. We're going to go through all the Spydeco uh, things because we reached our goal. And yeah, all the Spydeco knives. We're going to do a mini collection from mini collection. I'm looking at the first collection that I've just started kind of putting together. Is going to be Endora, Delicas, and Natives. That sounds like, oh, you're going to do three knives? No, bunches of knives. <laughs> some really old, some very new. So we'll start with that, since those are very popular. And then we'll go into uh, paramilitaries, militaries, and I don't know, Mannixes. And that goes through a lot. I'm just going off the top of my head. We're And we're going to try to get through them. I want you guys to get a good look at the knives and have fun with them. We'll go all the way through these knives, mini collection from mini collection. I'm excited. I am excited because I'm. this is my chance to categorize all of them. Plus, we're getting two new ones because Spydeco is trying to get these knives out since they promised us all these knives this year, their 40th anniversary. So we've got new ones coming constantly. So I'm excited about it. I hope you are too. But subscribe. We reached 1,000. Now we're headed to 2,000. And once we hit that 2,000 goal, we're going to go through all of the Browse Blades. A bunch of Browse Blades. Browse Blades, Striders, Hinderers, Customs. And um, what other knives did I say? Uh, so we'll go through a bunch of those knives in my fourth case. It's a Pelican 1550. And then we're going to have a knife giveaway, two knives given away. Uh, I, I don't know the rules. I think it's easier on Instagram than here, but we'll, we've got time to think about how that is. One of the knives is a great sprint run. The other knife is a wonderful classic. They'll be brand new. <laughs> they will be in the boxes. Only taken out of the box to take a picture. And even that, I'm not sure. I think they were taken out of the box to be examined by me. I don't even think they've been photographed because they were doubles. Okay, so hit that subscribe button. Now I've done all that business, but I didn't forget the knife that got away. This right here, my friends, is the Spydeco Southern. Man, the very first flipper from Spydeco. Actually, this was the very first flipper from Spydeco. This is the original Brad Southern flipper from Spydeco, the brown one. This is the most, <laughs> this is really one of the most, next to the Domino, one of the most pimped out knives because everyone didn't like this rough brown G10 uh, scales. I like them. 
I really do. This is the original. Think about that, though, for Spyderco to entry, their entry into the flippers. Now, they're big knife people. They know. But remember, the hole is the whole thing, right? That's what they created the company on, that one-handed opening through the spidey hole. And these flippers, you can do that, too. But the flip is just really nice. Brad Souther did a great job on it. That's the original. Again, both of them, G10 on the front, they have uh, titanium on the back. Spydeco recognizing, and they do this all the time, they look at their knives and they, they look at what can we do to tweak it to make it better. So they did their blacked out version. This is what I'm carrying today, the blacked out version of the Southern. Everything is the same, still with 3.5 inch blade, CTS 204P steel, CTS 204P steel. G10, but man, this is a smoother G10. Of course, the blacked out version is all black. It's just smoother. Coating on the blade on this one. And I'll tell you, the flipper is unbelievable. Whoops, God, I keep, I'm going to screw up my knives doing that. The flipper is just really wonderful on the original. It's even smoother on the blacked out version. If you haven't gotten a Southern, you know, titanium liners, it's just a wonderful. If you haven't gotten a Southern, get the blacked out version. By the way, the Southern obviously in my top 10 but since the southern man spinaco has been going crazy crazy with flippers uh, just in this year alone they promised us about five or six flippers so uh, i can't wait to show you my flipper collection of spidercoes but man there's more to come look how smooth this thing is that's the knife that got away this right here, the Southern, I just wanted you to see the original as well. But, oh, the Southern, we've gone so far with all these flippers along with Spydeco, but the original Southern is just great, just great. You can still find a new one uh, or even on a secondary market that is in great condition. I love that blacked out version, though. That's it, you guys. You have a wonderful, wonderful day. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow. We're going to do this again tomorrow. Pocket Dumb Deconstruction. Don't forget, thumb it up, like, share, subscribe. You guys have a perfect, perfect day. Man, I, I actually mean that. I want you to have just a wonderful day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.